Hello everybody, a very important safety video today. Um, it's now been confirmed that all GP5 filters contain asbestos. So that's your standard GP5 filter where it's got the sort of Cyrillic RN5 on it. Um, obviously these are most common on the GP5 gas mask and um, also the PDF sort of child's mask. Um, but I think it's pretty much every Russian filter except maybe the GP7 filter, I don't know, contains asbestos. So to give you some background on this, a few years ago, or I can't remember, it's definitely going back at least a few years ago, this is an EO14, but an EO16 filter, which are the brown coffee can ones, um, somebody translated the manual for it and found that there was certainly a percentage of asbestos in the filter. Um, that was intentionally put there, part of a compound as a filtering unit. A lot safer than a lot of World War II masks that simply just had a bulk of asbestos in them. But the EO14 and the EO16 filters were confirmed to actually have asbestos in. So that left a lot of people wondering about the GP5 filters. But people have dissected them and said, you know, the GP5 filters look different, so they're probably safe. There was also lots of people saying there'd be cut-off dates for GP5 filters, saying as long as it's made after 1972 and things like that, they'd be safe. This is a 1981 here, um, that they'd be safe. So. Going on again, um, there was an American TV sort of show that basically, I think it was from a TV show, but it was some sort of news report anyway, where somebody said to be safe they wanted to do an asbestos check on a GP5 filter. It was done in a lab and the GP5 filter did contain asbestos, but they didn't mention what date of production the filter was, so again people were saying it could have been an early issue GP5 filter, they've been making them for a very long time. Um, then there was, I found another forum post where somebody had posted images from an electronic microscope of blue asbestos and white asbestos fibres supposedly from a GP5 filter. But again, it wasn't actually dated, so I don't know what year of production filter it was. Um, but you know, there was blue and white asbestos in the photo, assuming it was all real. Um, and now um, I've had a YouTube, I'm assuming he's a YouTube subscriber, he contacted me through Facebook and he had a load of the GP5 filters sent off for testing because apparently there was something on Dutch TV, I think it was? It was somewhere in Europe on a TV channel. Um, they said that there was asbestos in the GP5 filters. I watched the report but I didn't speak the language spoken and again I don't think they mentioned the year that the filter was from. So he had quite a lot of filters sent off for testing. I think they ranged from somewhere in the 70s to the late 80s. We're getting talking about, about 1987 or 88, the last of the filters he sent off all came back as asbestos positive. So these Russian filters are not safe to use. You know, we've been saying for a while, and I, I breathe through them, you know, we've been saying a while they're probably not safe to use, but there's been no concrete evidence either way. Um, well, now we've got concrete evidence. We've got enough reports that we can safely say all GP5 filters contained asbestos. I've also got here a EO18, two EO18 filters. These are like what the PMK was issued with. You can hear the activated charcoal shaking around in them. Um, so, a lot of people, as I said, GP5 has activated charcoal and it's safe. No. How activated charcoal works is it's one level of filter medium. You often have multiple levels of filter medium. Now, from my understanding with a GP5, you've got the cotton layer on the top. That is either asbestos free or the cotton is supposed to stop the asbestos coming out. You've then got the activated charcoal section in this area of the filter. Then at the bottom you've got the particulate filter. I think there might be another thin layer in between these two other ridges. But the asbestos is either in that very top cotton section or it's in the bottom section underneath the activated charcoal. So if the filter is intact, in theory you shouldn't inhale any um, asbestos from it. But you know, it's not safe to breathe through them now. We've got confirmation from enough sources that I think we can finally say get, you can buy a GP5, buy a Russian mask, it's fine. Take this filter off put something that you know is certainly safe on it. As I said, I don't know about the GP7 filters being safe, the PMK filters. Lots of people claim they are safe, but then again, lots of people claim GP5 filters are safe, and we now know that's not true. So, um, here's what I'm suggesting. With any of these old Russian filters, or Warsaw Pack filters, I think this is a Bulgarian one, same goes to the Czechoslovakian ones, don't wear it with the filtering. Um, I still don't know about the PBF cheek filters or the M10s cheek filters. Um, but, you know, I think it's got to the stage where we've got enough solid evidence that we know 
that asbestos was, despite what Soviet documents may or may not say, was used until the fall of the Soviet Union, at least, in Russian gas mass production, and the Warsaw Pact's gas mass production, Philip production. So, to play it safe, if you get any sort of Russian mask from the Cold War, or before, take the 40mm uh, filters off of them, you can put that somewhere safe. I'm not particularly worried about asbestos leaking from a filter like this because it can only leak out if it's disturbed and most of these are intact enough that I don't think you're going to get that without air going through it. But whatever you do, don't wear them. Put the filter somewhere safe. If you've got plugs to filter, great. Keep it plugged up. If not, just maybe seal it in a plastic bag if you're really worried. And then what you can do is you can find a 40mm NATO filter that fits or a Gost filter made from the Russian Federation that's recent, you can get them on eBay. The ones that in theory are still within shelf life, so you could use it in an NBC scenario and it'll work. So just to demonstrate this, here is a GP5 with a USC2 filter installed on it, just to prove it fits. This is a NATO 40mm filter. I know some people have questioned the safety of C2s, but it's a lot safer than this thing, let's be honest. So just to prove the point, That's a GP5 filter installed on a GP5, now known to contain asbestos. Take that off. Get a NATO 40mm filter like the C2. It could be any NATO filter. I'm sure it doesn't make a difference. Now it's a bit harder to get these on, but you can do it. Because it's a different 40mm thread. Standard NATO filters are called Stanag. GP5 filters are called Ghost filters. Now I'm cross-threading it because I'm trying to do it on camera. But... You can, because I have done it, as you saw it was on beforehand, get this screwed on to an airtight level where you can use the mask with a NATO filter. There we go, I think it's screwing in now. He says and fails. There we go, I've got it back on. So the point I'm making is you can buy Russian masks, they're very cool, but whatever you do, don't wear them with any of the Russian Soviet filters or Warsaw Pact filters, because we now know for certain there's been enough sources that I think we can finally put this to rest. There is asbestos in all of these Russian filters. Not to the level of World War II filters. If they're intact, they probably are safe, yes, but let's not risk your health by doing so. Get a 40mm NATO filter you trust, and you, with a bit of brute force, you can get them to fit the mask, or you could wear the mask without the filter if you wanted to do so. This has asbestos in, this has asbestos in, this has asbestos in, this has asbestos in. The EO16 filters also have asbestos in. The GP7 PMK filters we don't know. I wouldn't personally trust them. I'd use the modern plastic Russian filters that look like NATO filters because they're obviously made to a much better standard. But obviously all of these filters don't wear them. Now if you're like me and have breathed through these filters, I'm sure you haven't done too much damage, but let's not risk it by carrying on. Um, basically what happens with asbestos, if you don't know how it works, the fibres get stuck to the inside of your lungs. You can't exhale them. Over time they may gradually break down and you may be able to exhale them. But generally the people who work with asbestos inhaled a lot of it. It sticks to all the linings of your lungs, cuts up the lining of your lungs, damaging them. This can lead to breathing difficulties. If you're lucky it's only very minor sort of lung capacity problems. Um, going to the extreme, you might need to live off an oxygen tank and then might die of lung cancer. But, you know, hopefully it's not as grim as that. Hopefully you've not really breathed through these filters too much. If you've got one, don't wear it. Uh, don't do any further damage to yourself. Keep these as ornaments. Put an actual safe filter on one of these Russian masks. One that's made in the West to higher standards. And, um, you know, let's put this to bed. No more wearing of Russian filters. We know for now for a fact they're dangerous. A big thank you to um, the person on Facebook sending me all of this. Um, he said he's also going to send me the reports when he gets them through. So I'll, if um, there's any confidential details, I'll take them out and then I'll probably post them in a video just so you can see that this isn't somebody having me on. I think we are really getting to the stage now where we have to admit there is asbestos in all of these Russian filters. And we have to say, no, I'm not. I've you know, taken it part of a can opener. I looked at it you know it seemed fine we have to say that really we know better now we're not going to carry on pretending that there's not asbestos in these as collectors or wearers and you know the safest possible thing is to just not wear them and really from this point on 
as it becomes obvious, if you're selling these filters, you should only sell them if you're, you know, saying do not wear it with the filter. Because I think there's still a lot of companies trying to claim that these are safe working filters, when obviously, if these break down enough, they could cause you serious lung damage or eventual death. So, um, yeah. On a lighter note, doesn't the GP5 look cool with a black filter?